A lot of you folks are searching around for the term Magento CMS. What did you find? There's no telling what they found. Your options can be a bit confusing, but I understand why you're looking around. Content management has always been a bit of an issue with Magento. So pull yourself up a chair and let's talk about the CMS options you have on the platform. This equation is going to be a bit different if you're talking about Magento Commerce, AKA the enterprise version, or Magento Open Source. Let's jump right in with the enterprise version and then we'll get to your open source options here in a minute. Magento, years ago, knew that they had two big problems. Well, I'm sure they had more than two problems, but two that are applicable to this conversation. The first problem was that their built-in content management system was hot garbage, completely unacceptable. That's terrible. The second problem was that there wasn't enough difference between Magento Open Source and Magento Commerce to justify the license price for most folks. Magento really needed to improve in both of these aspects, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Unfortunately, the bigger a company gets, the less likely it is that they do anything quickly. So to expedite the solution to the CMS issue, they went out and acquired a popular content management plugin called Bluefoot CMS built by Gene Commerce. Even though that was the expedited route, it still took them quite some time to rewrite it as a core module for Magento and release it as page builder. But that only solved one of their two problems, the CMS. What about the differentiation between Magento Commerce and open source? Well, I'm glad I asked. Well, isn't that convenient for you? Yeah, it was. In true enterprise software fashion, they only released Page Builder to Magento Commerce, even though the original Bluefoot module was available on open source for a fee. It's not personal, Sonny. It's strictly business. So if you paid that Magento Commerce license, you should have access to Page Builder. If not, then send a sternly worded email to your web developers asking them why you don't. And make sure you're actually running on a version released in the last couple of years. If you aren't, you got bigger problems than content management and you should shift your focus to dealing with those immediately. Page Builder is a solid CMS for those with moderate to light content management needs coupled with their e-commerce operation. However, Page Builder is not an enterprise content management system, but Adobe definitely has you covered there with Adobe Experience Manager. I say it all the time. Magento, even the open source version, is an enterprise e-commerce platform but there are tiers to being enterprise. Just because you're ponying up the dollars for Magento Commerce doesn't mean you're ready for Adobe Experience Manager. But if you're the enterprisiest of the enterprise, Mr. Moneybags himself, the Monopoly man in disguise, then you're probably not watching this channel. He's right. If I happen to be wrong and you're just slumming it for the day and happen upon this video, Adobe Experience Manager is incredible. I can't begin to cover the details of all of its glory in this video, so just go look it up. I will say this though, if you're going that route, you aren't really adding a CMS to your e-commerce. It'll be more like adding e-commerce to your CMS, if that makes sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's not that important, so let's keep moving. If neither of those work for you, stick around for the open source options I'm about to discuss because they all probably could be used on Magento Commerce as well. With Magento open source, we're really starting from scratch with content management. And there are a few different directions we can go from here. Option one, integrate another standalone system that does content management really well. For example, integrating WordPress. Now what I'm about to say is applicable for pretty much any standalone content management system. These systems are designed to work in a siloed environment and not necessarily interact with each other in real time. Trying to make them do so can lead to an awful lot of complicated issues with your Magento site. Boy, that's no bueno. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've been through enough fish pig Magento to WordPress integrations to know how problematic they can be. The fish pig was a clever module, no doubt. It got the job done. It created Magento objects out of your WordPress data. So you manage data in WordPress and then it's available in Magento. There's no WordPress theme to worry about because all of the display goes through Magento. The problem is you pretty much lose all the power of the original platform by squishing them together like that. Most plugins won't work on it and frustrations quickly mount, but the mistake has already been made. If you're gonna go this route, where you have a standalone CMS and Magento, put your content or your store on a subdomain. Just keep each one independent of each other and then do some light integrations if you need to pull over product content or something like that. 
just don't try to fully integrate them. You gotta keep them separated. Option two is finding a content management module that adds better content management to Magento. Now there are a lot of them out there. So if you're looking for one, just search for blog in the Magento marketplace because they think you're searching for blog and not CMS, even though Google Keyword Planner tells me otherwise. All the well-known Magento module companies have their own version. Aheadworks, Amnesty, MageZon, and a few others. Just take a look and pick your favorite. In this category of CMS modules is also Mage Suite. The Mage Suite looks like a solid content management system with some drag and drop capabilities. I haven't used it myself, but it looks interesting and it appears to be free to download. So there's no reason for you to not try it and let me know how you like it. Whatever works for you. Option three is leveraging a third party CMS that is designed to work with Magento. Shogun is the primary example that comes to mind. Come to think of it, I probably should have got them to sponsor this entire video. I wonder how big this channel would need to be to get a bottle of Pappy 15 year old from a sponsored video. I might be in Van Winkle Lot B territory already. I don't know. It's too late now, I guess. You should have thought of that earlier. <sighs> I know. Anyway, as I mentioned, integrating a standalone CMS can be a mess. The module approach I just talked about is a huge step up from Magento open source's built-in CMS, but the options seem to really be focused on blogging and are not complex CMSs. Something like Shogun can potentially give you the best of both worlds. A more robust content management platform along with a fairly simple integration to your site. The downside really being that it's yet another SaaS solution you have to subscribe to and not a one-time fee like the modules above. Something else I found though while researching this video is that they recently ended support for their Magento integration for traditional themes. Instead, they have this entire PWA front end that leverages their content management capabilities and ties into Magento for e-commerce functionality. This could be better or worse, depending on whether you're wanting to live that headless PWA life, but it's worth checking out if it fits your needs and it's worth the cost to you. If you watch this video and are considering Shogun or any other service like it, let me know in the comments so I'm well aware of how much bourbon I missed out by not getting a sponsorship. And let me know if you have any additional details on Magento CMSs in the comments so that everybody that's looking has that information. It's always a pleasure talking to you, but it's time for me to get back to my bourbon. My name is TJ Campbell and I'm the CEO and founder of Jamerson, where we help businesses like yours take those next steps in their e-commerce journey. If you're ready to improve your business and looking for help, go to jamerson.com forward slash go and I look forward to speaking with you. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.